here, and I am very pleased to be able to review the brand new Allegories coin. Um, Germania Mint was kind enough to send me one of these coins to, uh, to show you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we can go through all the versions and the buying options and uh, so forth. But uh, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, COA. Uh, yes, uh, five marks. No, that's not a real uh, currency. That's a defunct currency. 2019, four nines, BU. 25,000 pieces. This is an official product of the Germania Mint, so they have been really red hot lately. And there is the front of the COA. We have um, Miss uh, Germania along with Miss Britannia. And there are more of these to come, in case you didn't know. This is the first of the Allegories uh, rounds. And uh, we'll, uh, uh, I'll show you what's going to be second here in a minute as well. But let's go ahead and get on to see the round. This is the first time I'm seeing it. And uh, I'm very, very excited. Very excited to see this and to get it a month early. Wow, what a treat for me. Um, I have bought some of these, but I will not be getting mine for about a month. And there we go. Try to get you a good shot of that. My light is not perfect here. Try to get that a little better. I seem to be catching the shadows. There we go, two lovely ladies. Shields in hand. Britannia, Germania. All right, let's look at the, the uh, I think this would be the obverse, right? There is the coat of arms. What do we have here on the Germania coat of arms? <clears throat> well, I don't actually, uh, I don't know what that animal is. Is it a boar? Possibly. And up here, the top, it seems to be a heraldic uh, eagle. And uh, the, uh, the wreath that circles the coin is really quite lovely. I think you could easily argue that this is the superior side. <laughs> but we want to give the ladies their due. Hold on for my fingerprints. Um, I also want you to take note of the new capsule. So they have ditched the square capsule, which uh, whoever made those should literally be put up against the wall and shot because uh, they damaged uh, quite a few coins in transit when they fell apart. And, uh, you know, it, it only takes one scratch on your beautiful Germania to render it uh, uh, melt, <laughs> basically. So you want this to be airtight. And I see they have... Uh, <clears throat> they have a premium capsule here. This is not uh, this is your standard airtight. It has a little bit of a dome on top. Be careful you don't scratch them. Just beautiful. All right, that is the one ounce uh, BU Germania, still in pre-sale, um, and uh, not uh, formally. Uh, well, it was it, it was pre-sale released by Bold with uh, some uh, decent initial prices. I'll give you those in a minute. Why don't we go take a look at the specs and the, uh, <clears throat> the places to buy this coin or not buy it yet, okay? And we'll take a look at the next release as well. Very nice. All right, here we are at uh, the Bold Precious Metals and I'm in my personal account where I have, uh, this is the order I placed uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, or end of July anyway, um, and uh, I picked up the one ounce, the two ounce, and the five ounce. All right, I wanted the full set, and uh, here's what they cost. Yes, it was a pretty penny. Uh, the one ounce were about $29, I believe. The two ounce um, were, um, what is that, about 90 uh, Let's see, um, 182 no, about 80 80 times 3, yeah, about 80, 85 or so. Um, and the 5 ounce were $280, I believe. Um, so, um, 
you know, it seems like that. So that's about 29 an ounce. That was about, like I said, uh, 40 an ounce. And uh, actually, when I bought these, I thought the five ounce uh, was the cheapest of, of the bunch per ounce, but actually it is the most expensive at uh, $290 divided by five. Uh, what is that? About $60 an ounce. Um, you know, I certainly have paid more and uh, I don't like paying that kind of price for a BU round. But in my estimation, if you'd like a buying tip, um, there are plenty of the one ounce. I don't think there's any rush to go pay too much for those or buy them too early. Um, so they'll, they'll be in abundance at 25,000. The two ounce will be a little harder to get. So, uh, you know, if you find a good price on that, you may want to secure it now, but still 2,500 is a fair number. But the five ounce at a mintage of 500, there are so many collectors of the Germania series now that, um, uh, 500 of these will not be nearly enough to satisfy demand. And uh, if you want to collect this series, I, I suggest you grab the five ounce as soon as you can. They are going to disappear. Okay, but that's what they cost. So it is premium BU silver without a doubt, uh, certainly at the one ounce level. And then it starts to get a little crazy as we go into the two and the five ounce gets really crazy. So you decide if that is uh, worthy of your attention or not. But I was happy to pick these up from Bold. They did, um, it did come out from Monument uh, Metals, I believe, after that higher price. And Apmex uh, um, has not released theirs. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll come out at the initial price, but I, I think this pricing, uh, you know, high 20s is plenty, plenty high for the one ounce. So um, I'd, I'd watch for uh, prices under $30 on the on the one ounce and under uh, under $100 on the two ounce. The five ounce, I don't know. Good luck finding one of those. Okay, so those are the buying tips. Let's get over and see what is coming next. All right, it looks like they have already queued up the Columbia and Germania series. Um, so uh, let's get a look at that. I think some of you have already seen this, but there they are. Again, two lovely women. In this case, uh, they each have their flags in hand, and uh, they look like they are um, getting along just fine. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's going to be a lovely coin, so look for that one to come out next. But we've got a solid month before um, the Britannia series uh, is in hand, uh, despite the pre-releases. Uh, I believe that Germania Mint likes to release a number of these at, uh, at coin shows, and then uh, that creates a little bit of a buzz, and then you can pick some up from foreign countries and whatnot. Um, uh, at higher prices if you just can't wait, but uh, you'll have to wait for the U.S. Uh, dealers to um, to go ahead and fulfill their pre-orders. Um, so uh, anyway, this is the next series. Let's go back to that beautiful five out. And there it is. So uh, I'll leave you with this image, and please let me know if you are on the hunt for these, um, and uh, if you're going to be collecting the full series, and will that include the the big daddy here? the five ounce. Um, I would just tell you do not overpay. Okay, be careful with your enthusiasm. Uh, okay guys, well there I have it. Um, please let me know what you think, how you like the round, and uh, if you'll be picking up this series or not. Alright, thanks everyone. Louis signing out.